Hello fellow Wargamers, this is Garrison for Iron Kingdoms at War, and uh, I have finished painting up this rocky outcropping terrain. Really, really, really happy with uh, how it came out. So, hopefully you can get a good look at this. Uh, for this painting tutorial, I'm really just going to walk you through some of the uh, different things I did to get it looking this way. So let's start with the rocks. With the rocks, I started with a... Uh, medium gray craft paint, you know, like I usually use cheap uh, craft paint for terrain. And I just base coated all of these rock pieces with that medium gray. And then I mixed in um, some white with some medium gray, uh, pretty much uh, two parts gray, one part white, to get kind of a medium to light gray. And I dry brushed that all over all of the stone pieces. And don't forget when you dry brush, you want to make sure, and you paint gray, you want to make sure you get the little stones that we put at the base and foot of these uh, large boulders as well. Then um, after the base coat of medium gray and the lightened gray, I did a light gray, two parts white to one part gray, and I did a dry brush of that. And my fourth dry brushing was white, all right, to really bring out the details in the stone. And so let's just zoom in for a second so you can get a really good look at one of these stones and you can really start to appreciate, I hope, what a neat texture that Liquitex stucco gives these boulders. It really does a neat job right, with that. Okay, so I've got another one over here. Okay, so it really gives it a really neat stony texture. It comes out really great. I love the look of it. Okay, so that's the stones. Now, um, as far as the ground, did a dark brown uh, base coat over the uh, sand and kitty litter mixture where our dirt is. I, anytime I do a piece with static grass, I base coat the entire thing um, in the dark brown and so forth, even though I know I'm going to cover up big portions of it with grass. I go ahead and do the, the groundwork everywhere as far as the dark brown and so forth because then that gives me license later on to be creative and just put the grass wherever it looks nice to me and I don't have to worry about covering up things. Uh, so, I did a dark brown and then a medium brown and then a and the medium down is dry brushed on and then I did a dry brushing of tan to really bring out the little bits of stone and so forth in the ground. Okay, in fact, I don't know if we can get that to show up or not, but uh, you know, in here is where we did that. The dark brown, then the dry brushed medium brown, and then a tan color, finally. Alright, so uh, of, this is uh, just a hecky static grass, kind of a spring mi uh, mixture it's called, All right, which is my favorite kind of uh, grass color. Applied that around and uh, that's basically it. Uh, the only other thing I want to mention is um, what you want to do anytime you do like uh, stones uh, or concrete where they up come up against the ground is you want to do a little bit of brown dry brush your, your earth color. I picked my medium brown and my tan and dry brush a little bit onto the base of the stone Right, just because it would naturally have that look to it. Okay, and so uh, that's a nice little extra effect just to give it a completed look. So anyway, this is my rocky outcropping terrain. I'll finish up with some stills so you can see what it looks like with minis on it and so forth. And uh, this is Garrison for Iron Kingdoms at War signing off. Happy Wargaming, everybody!